गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास थ्री चिल्ड्रेन टूडे आई एम हियर विद द वीडियो फॉर यू ऑल ऑफ इंग्लिश पोएम ए फ्रॉग इन ए वेल दिस पोएम इज रिटर्न बाई एलिस स्कर्ट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पोएम लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस एलिस स्कर्टल is an american writer who has written several popular books for children she was a school teacher before becoming an author she lives in usa this poem tells us how a frog sees the world from its well so children Let's start with this poem A Frog in a Well Let us read this poem A Frog in a Well The world is round and deep and cool The bottom of the world's a pool with just enough room for a frog alone The walls of the world are of stone on stone at the top of the world when i look up high i can see a star in a little round sky let you tell about this poem before i explain you this meaning in this poem about a frog who lives in a well and students for this frog that will is the whole world since a frog had never come out of his well so the frog takes the whole well as the whole world so students line by line i will explain you so let's start the world is round and deep and cool in this line Why does frog see this world is round and deep and cool because that well was also round and very deep and this frog is living deep in the well so this frog thinks that the world is round deep and cool the bottom of the world's a pool and in this line this frog says that the below of the world is a pool because where he is living there is water well is having water and that is why this frog is telling that the below of the world's a pool with just enough room for a frog alone the frog says that the well is just enough for the frog the walls of the world are of stone on stone now here the frog says that the world is having wall and that wall is made of stone over stone and over that another stone when i look up high i can see a star in a little round sky now the frog says that he looks up high he sees a star in a little round sky because the opening well is round now my dear students i hope that you all understood this poem so students you all learn this poem and write in your copy thank you